All right, today we're gonna do a painting I, in a style I call Dazzling Drips. All right, the question of the day is, who is Asha Mengrahani? All right, let's run through the colors. Red oxide, quin magenta, pearly red dark, cadmium yellow pigment, pearly orange, copper, green egg brown, Indian yellow, cad yellow dark, primary yellow, phala green, quin blue, primary cyan, titanium white, Mars black. All right, today we're gonna do a style called Dazzling Drips. We just got in that first layer. We got this nice kind of chocolate brown, which has that copper in there, which is, you barely see the copper, so I might have to bring that back if I want to pop that. We got this kind of magenta red, which is kind of very pinkish. It's kind of combining here. We got the orange dripping through here, so you got a lot of orange and some brown and white. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add an orange, so we're gonna bring it this layer, so kind of give it that um, in between, between the lower layer and the upper layer of the orange as well as bring back, um, we're gonna introduce a lot more yellow to give it more complexity in the middle here with kind of a nice Indian yellow with a primary yellow in the middle that's very light. So we're gonna start differentiating those uh, different layers. just got done with that first layer we got that orange down here and spread over it's got a nice yellow in the middle we're seeing a lot of good streak patterns a lot of drips that's really looking good with a little bit of brown coming through and then we're gonna add in that kind of different layer we're gonna add some cool colors in here to really tone this down and really pull it together and we'll see how it goes from here <laughs> We just got done with that layer. We got a really nice copper brown at the bottom. We got the reds in here. Um, the purple has formed this nice brown streaks through the paint um, and we haven't lost any of the yellow, so that's really nice. Um, on top, we got similar effect going on, really good drip pattern. And I think in the next layer, what we're gonna do is add in, you know, make that bottom layer a little bit darker. It's really just not dark enough. And add in a quin red to kind of pull out that red, make it more really intense red and really a light layer of yellow to kind of make that yellow pop. So Asha Mangrahani was an artist friend of mine and we both painted at a studio called 4th Street Studios and later a little bit at 4th Street Fine Art. So she was at 4th Street Studios I think almost 10 years and I was, she was a little bit at the 4th Street Fine Art where I was about six years, so we overlapped about seven years. And she's an artist originally from the Philippines. Um, her parents were from India, so she incorporated a lot into her abstract work with a lot of gold, gold leaf, gold paint, I think sometimes silver. And her abstract style was just really amazing, like a huge variety of color in it. Um, and then she took a little bit of break after Street Fine Art, she didn't want to join the new studio, you know, the art market was bad, and the art market started recovering, then she finally came back to 4th Street Fine Art a little bit, and her style had changed quite a bit, it was more kind of a Buddhist, I would say, influence, more figurative, um, again, mixing a lot of color in there, but yeah, quite different than where she was in her abstract art, um, I think she was just kind of burned out of the abstract art, and she wanted to take her art in a new direction, which, you know, always happens. I have several styles for the same reason. Um, sometimes that can be better or worse. I like her abstract art a lot better, but, you know, it is what it is. And, 
yeah, I think she's a really interesting artist artist. She actually went full time when she was at 4th Street Studios and that was with, I think the gallery was taking 50%. Plus there was like two, three hundred dollars in studio fees, so it's quite a bit to be showing there and also being on full time. So, you know, it is possible even in really high charging areas to make it as an artist. And that's my question of the day. All right, we just finished the paint. Let's take a closer look. So this has this nice copper brown. It's very warm in this version of the painting. Um, nice drip pattern coming through the yellows. Um, you have that really nice subtle underlayer of the drips that you can see coming through as well as this kind of patchy red at the bottom which is really nice kind of forming these really unusual drips and um, black at the bottom. I'd say this has a really good uh, combination of for the yellow contrast to the browns and then this nice copper overlay at the very end to make that copper pop. Um, it has really a nice kind of feel to this really kind of this burnt fiery feel. So hopefully you guys like it, I like it. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below and you can check out the full count on my Patreon account and I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching guys.